la 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 shake however you want <laughs> what do we got 30 30 seconds hi i'm monica from liquid culture and today we're gonna shake up the pisco sour in two different ways i know it's kind of traditional uh to use a shaker but my peruvians love to blend it that's the only way i actually saw it done over there so let's compare the two and see which one we prefer all right so first let's start by shaking up a pisco with a traditional shaker now with this what you want to keep in mind is you're going to do a dry shake and a regular shake which i'll explain all of that to you first let's talk pisco because I know that's something that a lot of people don't or haven't heard a lot of. Pisco, if you don't know, it is a great base liquor. So think of it as the vodka of, you know, Peru and Chile, which is traditionally where it's made. It's so different from that. So it's one of those things that you just got to try Pisco to really know what it tastes like because you could categorize it as a brandy or an eau de vie, but really it is just its own and you got to just get on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our Pisco and we're going to pour two ounces of that. Now this cocktail is super simple and easy to customize in any way or shape or form because it just calls for a spirit, it calls for citrus, and it calls for sugar and egg whites. Yes, egg whites are coming into this cocktail. <laughs> so we got two ounces of Pisco. We're gonna put one ounce of freshly squeezed lime. Don't be buying that plastic green stuff. That is not acceptable here. That I will judge you on. Okay, so we're gonna put two, one ounce of that. I'm gonna put half an ounce of sugar. So that's our simple syrup, which please don't ever buy simple syrup for your home. You can easily make it. It's just a simple combination of water and sugar, just one to one equal parts. And then we're gonna add our egg whites. Yes, I like using a carton for the mere fact that if I'm gonna be making a whole bunch of pieces of sours or any sour, like a, you know, disarono sour or whiskey sour, just make your life easy. Don't crack up, you know, eggs and everything. This is, this is good to go. So we're gonna put the equivalent of just one, okay? So we're gonna shake that up without ice. The whole point of shaking it without ice is to help emulsify and get like a really luxurious, sexy foam. Why is foam important? Well, think of a latte. Don't you love that foam part in a latte? It just adds to the whole texture and mouthfeel. So that's the whole point of it. And we're gonna give this a vigorous shake, like at least 45 seconds. And so your arm is gonna hurt. <laughs> shake however you want. <laughs> What do we got? 30, 30 seconds, maybe 10 more. If they never told you that bartending isn't a workout, it is. You, you can put in your cardio work here. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of happy with that. And you'll see even in here that there's, it's gonna be all bubbly, it's gonna be all nice. Now we're gonna chill it. All right, so we're gonna chill it by adding uh, ice, obviously. Gonna add that into here. And again, we are giving it a vigorous shake because we want it nice, chilled perfection. Yes, you're having another workout. <laughs> All right. You, <laughs> I'm actually out of breath. Maybe that's why you don't know what a pisco sour is because your bartenders don't want to shake it up for you. You pretty much want to shake this up till like your shaker is cold. Like you can barely even touch it. I can still touch it. So I'm gonna shake it for another like five seconds. All right, okay, oh, let's do this. <laughs> I'm happy, this is gonna be delicious. Let's strain. Oh, yes, honey. Uh, that is what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is your traditional shaken with a shaker. And what our bartenders love to do is you add a couple drops of Angostura, come on. That is what you call a signature when it comes to a Pisco Sour. You can tell just from far away, you don't even know what the cocktail is. If it has the Angostura bitters on top, you kind of know it's gonna be a Pisco Sour. This is a way that we do so well and so much in North America, but when I was in Peru, they were blending it. So I wanted to know, okay, what is better? Blended or shaken? I know what's gonna be more work, but let's see. As I mentioned, in Peru, the only way I saw a pisco sour done was actually blended. I know that's not something that's typical here, but I'm gonna assume that they love pisco sour and they want to have more than just one and not kill their arm like I did. So let's see which one is actually better. 
So the ingredients are pretty much exactly the same, just slight adjustments. We're just adding a little bit more sugar and then we're gonna add a handful of ice. Now the increase of sugar is just because you are incorporating ice into this. Um, even like with my freezies and, and any of those boozy uh, freezies and popsicles I've done, you have to increase the sugar just a little bit. So we're gonna put our two ounces of pisco. Okay, two ounces of pisco. We're gonna pour one ounce of freshly squeezed lime. Okay, so I did half an ounce on that first bit, so I'm gonna put three quarters of an ounce of uh, simple syrup. And again, don't you dare buy simple syrup. You do not need to. And then we're gonna add our one egg white. Happy with that. And a handful of ice. Hold on. Handful of ice didn't make it to the blender. <laughs> so, let's top that up. Let's see if I can do this from behind. Um, we're gonna turn this on. Frozen drinks, I think that's what we should choose here. Okay, let's go. Okay, that should be enough. You can see that the ice is all incorporated. It's a very loud machine, but it gets the job done. So we're gonna pour this. Again, the signature move, add the Angostura bitters dressed right on top. One, oh. My counter is not gonna be happy about that one. <laughs> but you get the point. This is both our Piscos. And let's give it a taste. Mm, mm, what do I choose? Well, I'm gonna let this settle since this is still fresh and give the classic a try. juice. Just a heads up, with a piece of sour, obviously with the structure of what it is, you can really experiment as much as you like in terms of the different sugars. You can use different juices. Maracuya is like a dream pisco sour. And yeah, let's give this a try, which as you can see, the divide isn't as much and you're probably gonna get more of the egg whites throughout the entire drink. Oh my God, Yo, this is actually better. <laughs> For some reason, the lime is coming out so predominantly, like it's just so much brighter and fresh. Guys, this is not rehearsed. I want you to know, I did not know that this would win. I thought I would still love this. Now oh, this is the winner. Get out your blenders. Mmm. That's good. Thank you for joining me on my Pisco experimentation. I hope you learned as much as I did, because I definitely did. But this is what liquid culture is all about. It's about being your best home bartender and being a lot more confident with mixing at home. See you next time.